All right, good afternoon, guys. I am about to take you guys through a workout. So I have an elk hunt coming up and the plan is to basically lift, ruck, and shoot my bow every single day. So right now I've got all the equipment out, got my morel target, got the bow, got the pack and the boots, hiking boots and I have outdoor weights. So I'm going to shoot my bow first. I'll start out at about 60, let a few go down range, move in, uh, get several sets in from longer range. Then I'll move into lifting and um, resistance training. And then after the weight workout, I will strap on the K4 5000 Exo Mountain Gear and the Crispy Boots, and I'm gonna do a 1.65 mile ruck around the neighborhood. And I believe I've got close to 40 pounds in the backpack. So I'm gonna take you guys through a full workout just to help me get prepared for backcountry mountain hunting. So I do a lot of solo hunting, so I've gotta be at the best I can be physically. So I just been doing these workouts every single day where I'm rucking, I'm lifting, and I'm shooting my bow because that is those are going to be the essential skills to really get me through the moment of truth when I am solo hunting in the backcountry in the mountains. So I'm going to take you guys through a quick workout. Also let you guys know I train with the harness, the bino harness on. Here I've got the binos, rangefinder, and ultra view button release is what I'm running this year. Here we have the Hoyt Helix. Got America's best bow strings, Easton FMJs with I'm running the, if I could find one, G5 Dead Meat. That's the practice point. So I did a review, unboxing review on the G5. That's the mechanical that I'm going to be running this year. Got an HHA single pin sight, Tacticam 6.0 to catch hopefully every kill shot in 4K. And the bow set at 70 pounds. I'm a 29 inch draw. Okay, so I am range is down there. Got a good backstop. Um, I'll go ahead and get down here out in the yard. Obviously, make sure no traffic is coming before you start letting arrows fly, but I'm gonna shoot a few from 60 move in and then we'll move into the weight workout Okay, here is first group at 60. Um, these three I'll take. They're within four to five inches. Um, definitely need tightening up though. This one's kind of a flyer over on the left. But first group of the day, so I'm gonna shoot a few more from 60. All right, that is Set number two from 60 yards. Ugh, we've got, I'm really happy with, with those three. That one was the last, that was the last shot. So that was a kind of a flyer, a little wind picked up. Fatigue was kind of starting to set in and any kind of, any kind of fatigue, wind, all that stuff, it just becomes that much more drastic at 60 yards. So 
I'm super happy with the first three. That's all within a four inch diameter. So those are all kill shots on pretty much any big game animal. I'm happy with group number two. That's group number three, and it's not very good. Um, first shot, second shot, third shot, so big fan of these two. Last one was a little bit of a flyer, so as you can see, shooting groups of four um, at 60, you're not going to have perfect shots every time, which is why... I start with the longer ranges before I get too fatigued and then now I've done three sets of four at 60 yards so I'm going to move into weightlifting and resistance training and I'll incorporate some shorter range just repetition type um, shooting the bow from 20 25 yards during the weight workout. I'm back in the garage. I've got the bow still ready. Got the target down there at 27 yards. I'm about to do a full body. Okay, so for the workout, first off, I'm gonna stretch. I can't emphasize the importance of stretching enough, especially your legs. You know, get get your legs stretched out, ready, do a lot of mob mobility work prior to doing any kind of lifting weights. I personally have bad knees from over the years, just hiking without doing any kind of stretching or lifting weights without doing any kind of warm up and I've just wrecked my body over the years. So now I really have to focus on stretching that mobility aspect and your body and joints will thank you. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the stretching routine and then for the workout, I'm gonna do push-ups. So I'm gonna do push-ups, super set with pull-ups and then followed by one arrow so i'll do five sets push-ups pull-ups one arrow push-ups pull-ups one arrow uh, for the second workout it's going to be overhead press followed by walking lunges and i'm going to do five sets of that and at the end of each uh, super set i'll be doing one arrow uh, for the third workout i'm going to do front squats with the 50 pounds um, and then follow that up with a superset on bicep curls, uh, followed with one arrow at 27 yards. So I'm gonna basically do those three workouts, superset everything, followed by an arrow. And that way, you know, you're fatigued, you've been lifting, you're sweating, it's hot. By the way, it's 95 degrees in Georgia right now with the humidity is pushing the index, the heat index well over 100. So it's hot, I'm about to get sweaty and I'm about to hopefully not die during this workout. Here goes the first set. Just did my first set of push-ups, followed by pull-ups, super setted, followed by a perfect 27-yard shot. Time for set number two.
All right, set number two, second set of push-ups, pull-ups, followed by rep number two, a little low. I am a portion of a way through the workout and it is hot outside. I am dying. So in between sets, I mean, I'm drenched in sweat right now. I'm coming in, I'm doing a two minute break in the AC, followed by the next super set, two minute break in the AC. And I'm only on my second workout right now. So I'm going to hopefully not die of a heat stroke. I should probably quit the workout right now, but I wanna keep pushing. I wanna use this AC break to hopefully rest and recharge and then get back outside for the next set. And then once I'm done with this, I will do the ruck 1.65 miles underweight. Here we go.
all right that is the fifth and final set of the second workout which was lunges weighted lunges with overhead press and one arrow rep on to the next workout All right, that's it. Workout is complete. At least for the lifting and shooting portion. That was five sets of three different supersets and a rep out of the bow after each one. Still holding steady at 27, 28 yards. Now I'm about to do the ruck. The shooting and lifting portion of the workout. Now I have the backpacking frame pack. I've got a dumbbell pack. Total weight's about 40, 45 pounds today. I've been adding 2.5 pounds each day. So 
I'm about to do a 1.65 mile loop around the neighborhood. It's got a pretty good hill. Um, so here we go, final portion of the workout. Now my favorite part of the hike, this hill goes straight up for the next 200 yards. But I've got my smoking hot wife beside me, which makes this workout way easier. What do you think? Mm -mm. No. Still not done with the hill. Been wearing the crispy boots every day, trying to get these broken in so that when I'm side hilling in Colorado, hopefully it won't cause any rubbing or blisters. Everything's breaking in pretty good. Pack and boots. About halfway done. All right, I have completed the whole workout. So that was shooting, lifting, rucking. The whole workout probably took two hours. It's been brutal. It's been super hot. My shirt is drenched in sweat. Um, I had to go in and inside and get into the AC. It's just so hot here in Georgia. So I'm looking forward to Colorado being a lot cooler, but I just want to take you guys through the uh, workout that I've been doing every single day. So I switch up the weight exercises based on, you know, what's sore. I definitely listen to my body. If I've got an ache or pain or if a muscle group is very sore, I, I tend to switch up the lifting exercises and uh, that way you're just kind of cycling through some different muscle groups um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this style workout every single day up until I leave for Colorado um, in the next two weeks or so so I figured I would take a page out of Mr. Cameron Haynes book his prescription is the lift run shoot policy so I just want to go ahead and change it up to lift ruck shoot so i figure if i'm a solo hunter going back country with camp on my back i'm going to want pack heavy so i want all this weight in my bag that i'm going to be camping with so camp weight on my pack for i'll do a few trips that are two to five days in the back country where i'll be bringing everything with me and I'll have camp on my back, so that's probably gonna be 50, 60 pounds when it's all said and done. So I need to keep conditioning to um, be able to really just walk around with weight and have it feel normal. So that's what I'm doing. And we'll hopefully uh, my fitness will not be the problem with um, the actual trip. So we shall see. All right, back in the AC. If you enjoyed this video, um, if you enjoyed seeing my preparation for these upcoming backcountry hunts, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, follow on Instagram. I do a bunch of DIY out of state hunting. So I've got several trips planned for this year and fitness is paramount to at least having that edge when you're in the field. I'm not saying it's gonna guarantee you success by working out every day because that's just not how hunting goes but if you have a physical edge and you're able to push harder push longer stay out there without getting fatigued and tired that can definitely lead to better results so i hopefully will have a crack at a bull but if not i know that i put everything into being as prepared as possible so that i can get out there hunt hard learn about elk hunting in Colorado and 
at the very least, I'll have 10 days worth of elk hunting experience to take into next year. So I should draw Montana next year. So that'll hopefully be a combo hunt where I do mule deer and elk. Um, but fingers crossed, I'm training my butt off and I'm scouting online maps, trying to get it done in Colorado. So follow along. I've got a ton more content coming out. Um, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need y'all support for for all these hunts. So, smash the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.